So in today's video, we are going to be doing an insane orange themed gaming PC build. Now right behind me, we have all the parts that we are going to need. Now let's just start off with all the parts that we have. So first of all, we have the graphics card right here. That is going to be the RTX 2070. Um, then for our CPU, we have the 5600X. Our CPU cooler is going to be this little AMD Wraith RGB cooler. I have our RAM right here. I know the RAM isn't as good. Uh, but it's actually pretty solid. It's just 16 gigs. Then we have our V550 MOBO that we're gonna actually use for it It does have the BIOS update uh, for 5000 series Processors or however you want to say it. So we're good to use that and got it for 160 bucks Now of our uh, power supply. We're actually gonna be using the Corsair SF uh, Kind of power supply now this power supply is super small if you look at the top of it It's like this big now the main attraction out of all these things is the case now this case is the inwin a d-frame mini i think it's the 2.0 but yeah it's pretty solid it's got a bunch of good io up here but overall yeah it's gonna be super sick build and then to top it off we got some really sick looking orange uh cables so uh yeah this should look pretty dang good with that i wish i did have some like blue cable combs i might spray paint some but i don't know yeah so uh let's get into the build so first thing that we're going to do is open up the motherboard, let's just go ahead and pop open the box right here, and bam, that is the motherboard. It actually looks really nice, um, I actually had the uh, set of cables pulled out, these are the ones that came with it, those are the ones that we're going to be using, but yeah, it looks like, I mean, it's a super solid motherboard, it's got a nice little IO uh, shield on it that looks pretty dope, it's got tons of IO ports on it as well. I'm pretty sure that is a 10 gig ethernet port, or 5 gig, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, we got our... Other stuff in here, cable ties, everything that we need. I'm probably not even going to use it, but yeah, that's basically uh, the motherboard. Now on to the CPU. Ooh, what was that? I don't care. Got the CPU, Ryzen 5 5600X. Let's open this puppy up. And uh, voila, we have the CPU uh, 5600X, as good as a 10900K. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, super cool CPU. Uh, looks really nice. But then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and install the CPU onto the motherboard. So, first thing that we're going to want to do, put the motherboard right here, lift up the little carrier thing, the little uh, socket, open up this. Now, we're just going to grab it. So, we have this little gold pin down right here, and we're going to line that with the one on the motherboard. So, now we have that. I already know which way it goes. So, I'm just slide her in there, make sure she, uh, that she's in there, and pop it down. So uh, yeah, that's basically that. So now it is time for the thermal paste. Uh, we have some nice little TG7 thermal take uh, thermal paste from Best Buy. I don't care, it's from Best Buy. It's actually pretty good, I did a video on it. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do like a nice little application of it right here. I don't care what it looks like as long as it does the job. Okay, maybe that was a bit much, but who freaking cares? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and spread that out. So now that we have the thermal paste nice and spread out, it looks pretty good in my opinion. It'll even now I use this little uh, pry tool for phone kits, but whatever, who cares? Yeah, now it is time for the Kura. Just kidding, cooler. Um, as I said, I'm using the AMD Wraith RGB Prism Cooler. Super solid cooler, I love it. Looks nice when the RGB's on. Uh, so we're just gonna basically plop it on here like this. And just gotta put this little guy right here. Sorry if the camera's shaky, this is kind of a difficult job to do with the camera, but uh, come on now. So uh, then yeah, now it looks like this. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take this. So we're just gonna take this and then we're just gonna plop it down like this. It's gonna probably hurt when I do this, but whatever. Uh, 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 got it, nice. So yeah, cooler's installed, but now we're not done yet. We still gotta plug in our uh, CPU fan header. So we're just gonna look over here for our CPU fan. It looks like this one is it, so now we're just going to plug it in, and plop, and we can just tug this little cable back in over here, I guess. That'd probably look the nicest, but we're not done actually with cables for this. Uh, we still have to get the RGB cable in there. I'm going to do that once we get towards the uh, end of the build, though. Okay, got it nicely tuck in, uh, tucked in there. Now we can go ahead and use our RAMs. We got 16 gigs, uh, I think 3200 megahertz. The guy that sold the RAM to me uh, kind of pulled a fast one on me and didn't include these things. Whatever, it should be fine, the little heat sinks. But yeah, let's go ahead and install these. So first thing we're going to do, plop these puppies right down here off. And then we're just going to take this, align them with the little slots. 
Maybe I should have put this in first, but whatever. And uh, yeah, plop her down. You hear a little click. Now uh, nothing comes out. Oh gosh, the other one was hiding under it. Now we can just go and plop this one under there too. So uh, uh, ah, come on, come on, plop. There we go. That looks pretty good. So yeah, that's basically the whole motherboard. That's pretty cool looking. I mean, that's a lot of computer right there. I'm not gonna do an M.2 drive. I I can't afford one right now. I'm just gonna use the hard drive that comes with it. This isn't actually gonna be used as a build. I'm gonna get an SSD later. But for now, we're just gonna leave the M.2 alone. So yeah, now we're just gonna take the motherboard and place it like this in the case. And um, make sure all the standoffs are aligned. Looks like they're all good. Got that one, got that one, got that one. So yeah, let's just go ahead and set our screws right here. So yeah, now we got the motherboard installed. Now for the fans that we're gonna be using, we're gonna use these Cooler Master ones. They're they're all right. We're just gonna be putting them right here, so you can't really see them. Just to have some airflow, though, um, they're just gonna fit right in there. So it's gonna look pretty nice. So our next step is to actually get the power supply installed. So right here is where the power supply is. And uh, we do have that little bracket on there. So let's just go ahead, turn the case around and uh, see if we can get this little bracket in there. I really hope I don't scratch anything. Uh, let me just set the camera right here. Just so you guys can even see this thing. There we go. Okay, now that I have it angled, let's go ahead and screw it in. So I actually kind of messed up here. These two top screws actually need to go down here so it actually even fits into the thing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and move those. So I went ahead, got those screws removed and we should be able to now position the power supply to where it actually fits on there, uh, which I think it does. So let's just see if we can sneak a little screw right there. Yep, looks like it's able to screw in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tight that in there. Okay, it looks like we're not able to put that screw in there, which is just fine because we have three in there. So yeah, we're good from there. So we're actually gonna be plugging in the RGB uh, kind of thing for the cooler. So that's gonna go right down in here. If we could just lean the PC up and that should fit in there. If I can get it though, these are things, these things are really difficult to get in there. But hey, it looks like we got it in there. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and position that over here. And that's basically everything off the motherboard that we need to connect for uh, kind of just cables. So now we have all these cables in the back here. We got like our USB 3.0 and everything like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug that in over here. Uh, this is our HD audio. So yeah, let's just position the case like this and I'm gonna just try and hide these over here. Um, I think the HD audio is gonna go right over uh, here. I'm gonna plug that puppy right there. Then we have our USB 3.0. That's gonna go right over here. Just plug that in like this. All right, so now that that is plugged in, looks pretty good. Then we have our uh, the rest of our cables. So our USB 2.0 for the cooler, that's gonna plug in at the, uh, I think the, oh geez, the side of the case. So we'll just move it on over here. And it uh, should plug in just like, and there we go. Now it's plugged in, turn it around, and we're good to, uh, oh, this, look, this guy's popping off right here. So there's actually a little zip tie over here from the previous owner. He has uh, zip tied these together, but that's okay. Just unzip tie those. And uh, yeah, we got all of our little cables that we need to plug in. It's probably gonna be hard for you guys to see here, but we're plugging all these cables in right in there. So we have, we're not gonna use this uh, power LED because we just don't really need it. Actually, yeah, we don't really need it. Um, we're gonna use the other Palera LED though that's gonna go right above the HDD LED. Then we have a reset switch. Then uh, last of all, our power switch. And bam, it's in there. So uh, I think I'm gonna go grab a zip tie and zip tie this up. So for some reason, the footage of me zip tying it up got deleted and I also had to realize that I didn't have a fan splitter to connect uh, the two fans. So here's me getting a fan splitter. So it looks like the only one that I have is white and that doesn't really go with our color theme, but whatever, just gonna have to use it anyways. 
Just go ahead, plug it in right here. And uh, voila, we have it through there now. So it's gonna turn the case around and uh, plug these things in. So this little guy's gonna go right here. And this one's gonna go right here. Bam. Now uh, that's basically all the fans that we really uh, need to plug in. So now it's time to get our power supply cables in. We're gonna be using our awesome orange cables. Yes, so let's go ahead and plug those in. So I actually forgot well, one last thing and that is the two terabyte hard drive that we're gonna use. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn the case around and put that in there. But for now, we're gonna use these little SATA cables to power that guy. So I think the best option for the power supply mounting is to use this one so we can kind of hide this cable over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and take out that little guy. But it may be kind of difficult because the little thing might bump into it, but we'll try it out. Okay, so I was able to get it out and it came out just fine. Let's go ahead and put the hard drive in. So now we just got a screwer in. I'm gonna take this right here and thus right there. And uh, screw that little guy in. So I actually didn't realize that that was the wrong spot to put it, but it's okay, it's just fine. Now we just gotta take our SATA cable from over here and plug that into our motherboard. So the SATA cable is gonna plug in right there, so we're just gonna bring it through right here. And uh, just plop in like this. All right, then perfect, it's right there. Now let's plug it into the HDD. So it looks like Nwin did a great job here kind of positioning it to where it perfectly fit right there. So all we gotta do is just basically take this, take that, and, uh, well, maybe. I think so, yeah. There, now let's put in there like that, and that looks pretty good. So now let's just go ahead and plug in our SATA power, and that should just reach up like this. And uh, there we go, now they're both plugged in, and it is time for our power cable extensions. So we're gonna put on the ATX uh, power, or color extension cable, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. Just put it on there like this, and uh, lock them in together like that. I'm not using the cable cones, because these are cheaper extensions and the cable cones just don't even fit on it. So time for our CPU power cable. It looks like this is the one for that. Just plug it in like this. Then we have our GPU extension cable. So we're just gonna use it like this. Oh, wrong way. This, and put it like this. Then we'll take our other cable. All right, now that we have all these cables installed, uh, we can go ahead and plug them into the motherboard. So we're just gonna head, uh, go ahead and bring the uh, big old ATX power extension cable through right over here. It's actually gonna look really nice with orange cables. So yeah, looks pretty good like that. Just leave them like this. Then we're gonna take our CPU power. All right, so just gonna try and push it in like this. Not too sure if it's gonna fit well, but. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the GPU right here so we can get those PCI cables in. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can fit this little cable through the little slot by the GPU. So yeah, they should all look pretty nice. And as I said, guys, we're gonna be using the MSI RTX 2070 Super, or 2070, and it's actually a pretty nice looking card. Uh, but yeah, that's the card right there. So uh, let's just go ahead and pop it right there. Okay, looks nice. Now I'm just gonna put one more screw right there. All right, now we just gotta add the PCI cables right here. Then the system is basically built, just gotta put the side panels on. So I actually decided to bring the cables kind of through the front over here. It shouldn't look too bad if I cable manage it, but uh, there's no other really room for them. Plug them in right there, plug this little guy in right there. All right, let's go ahead and kind of uh, cable manage the back of it over here, then uh, get the front looking good and the build will be done. All right, boys and girls, it is done. Look how good it looks. We got the nice orange cables right here going through. Honestly, they turned out really good. I had to kind of go around over here and let them go past the power supply just kind of because the uh, case is really weirdly designed, but whatever. It looks pretty dang good. And honestly, it's probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done. Uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't do an AIO. This kind of looks cleaner. Uh, it just leaves like cool room right here. I don't know, depends what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. Uh, we do have that hard drive right over here, but overall, this build looks sick, and uh, I'll get you guys a good montage of it real fast.
overall guys the PC turned out amazing just look at it it's so pretty I mean honestly very unique kind of a system and if you guys like it make sure you comment down below like the video uh, and maybe even subscribe I'm trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers you know just just only 99,000 more it's alright it's alright we'll get there someday but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video all the parts will be down in the description below if you guys decide to get any of those parts it will hand out or help out the channel if you use the links uh, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.